Hell Divers 2 had a rough launch due to the sheer demand of players diving in to see what all the hype was about. So much so that the CEO of Arrowhead Game Studios was telling fans not to buy the game until the servers had settled down. This led to some features being removed from the game to allow for more stability. But we have some good news. One feature fans absolutely loved is finally returning back to Hell Divers 2. An announcement was made in the official Hell Divers 2 Discord that daily personal orders would make a return in the future. But one eagle-eyed Reddit user noticed that the daily orders were actually already live and redeemable. The personal daily orders had to be removed from the game due to issues with claiming the awards and with Helldivers 2 being a live service game, the demand on the server was causing many issues, causing the creators to remove the feature until the servers were stabilised. This is a huge W for players as the daily personal orders provided an easy way to gain extra medals which are vital for your progression in the battle pass and unlocking new weapons and cosmetics. This couldn't have come at a better time too as a select few lucky players were treated with hidden stratagems over the weekend including the likes of walking mechs and off-road vehicles. So now is the perfect time to start saving your medals for when these officially drop. Moving on to the next piece of news. Well, this one definitely isn't going to help the console versus PC Master Race War, as Helldivers 2 allegedly have been given a secret boost to PS5 gamers in the battle to save Super Earth. And do you know what? There's actually some pretty convincing evidence to back up these claims. Players are reporting online that PS5 console players have been experiencing a much easier fight when coming against the Terminids in comparison to PC players players, and Twitch streamer Maplewood bought the receipts out to prove it. Maplewood claimed that after over 230 hours in the game, he began to notice that the bio titans on the PS5 were much easier to kill in comparison to their PC alternatives. They then proceeded to prove this on stream, hunting down a bio titan and eliminating it in only 3 railgun shots. Just to put this into perspective, PC gamers can expect to take a bio titan down in 12 railgun shots, making the terminated 4 times harder to kill simply by being on a different platform. It seems that the boost is actually trying transferred over to PC players too, but only if the lobby is hosted by a PS5 player. If the PS5 player is the host, every single player in the lobby will benefit from the console boost. Weirdly, this only works with Bio Titans and has not been replicated on any other enemy type, and for some weird reason the hosts themselves do not benefit from the boost, only their teammates. This is almost certainly a bug and will no doubt be fixed in the near future, but for now, take any advantage you can get, as Game Master Joel no doubt will be removing this shortly and likely punishing us for daring to use a glitch while defending Super Earth. I mean, this wouldn't exactly be out of character, as the evil overlord was hired strictly for the purpose of making sure players aren't getting an easy W during the war, as Arrowhead Game Studios recently spoke about how Game Master Joel was watching it all go down, as Helldivers 2 players died over 10 million times trying to take back a single planet from the automatons, allegedly calling the struggle a thing of beauty. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the whole Game Master story arc. In a world where more games are leaning into automated AI to help script outcomes in gaming. It is so refreshing seeing someone passionate about a project keeping the game going, even if many players hold a level of hatred towards them due to their evil actions in the game. This just goes to show how Divers 2 will be around for a while, and having the game tweaked on the fly to adapt to different difficulties dynamically really helps the game in the long run and stops it becoming a boring experience. But don't worry Helldivers, I've got a bit of good news, as we've just been gifted a tool to aid with our liberation by one dedicated fan, who has built a whole website that tracks how far into the liberation process process each planet is and how many players are currently playing on that planet. The website is seriously impressive, providing real-time updates on each individual planet and most importantly, it indicates which planets are in dire need of reinforcements so you can best apply your efforts in the most efficient way possible. I don't know about you, but I feel someone needs to step up and take the opposite role of Game Master Joel, leading the charge for democracy and leveling the playing field. That's not me, I don't want that pressure, but with fans making tools like this, the future is looking good for Helldivers. And that about wraps everything up up and just as an added bonus here's a secret video showcasing the hidden stratagems that are being stealth dropped into the game right now